All right, so here's my Detroit fuel pump with two new seals in it. Um, they're uh, shaft seals, and that's where it was sucking the air from uh, before with the old seals. So I put two new seals in, and it's not sucking any air and pushing it through the fuel system anymore. I've got my DeWalt drill hooked up to it on high speed, roughly 1700 RPMs. And again, all the uh, injector line ports are all bridged with vinyl 516s tubing. And then I've got it down into that bottle right there. Um, still coming out a little dirty, so I'm going to push some through and see if we can't get it cleaned up. So here it goes. I'll show you. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. As you can see, the fuel cleaned up, more air, there it is over there. It's coming out that line, pretty clean, I'm happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is put that drill in reverse and take, try to get what fuel I can out of these uh, bridges. Push it back into the tank. Good enough there. I'm gonna wipe down any fuel that drilled out. Not much. Around this side. Let's see me out a little bit right there. A little bit right here. That was about it. So I'm happy with that. That fuel came out. Pretty clean. And this over here, I put this rag here because the first time I pushed fuel through the system, this fitting was leaking. Uh, I believe it was this right here. I think that was the one that was leaking. Oh no, sorry, I lied. It was this nut to the right here that was leaking. So as you can see on the towel, I don't have any drips. That's just the dirt stain from me pushing it on there. But no drips, that's good. I'm happy with that. Next thing I gotta do is hook up that oil pressure gauge. I'm gonna do that down there in front of the starter hole. All right, I'll uh, take a video of the next update.